they say, y'all, my TikTok, 2.1 million followers, man, bro. I ain't do nothing. I don't know what I did, bro. I just woke up my shit, man. The car got told, man, uh, barely working, overheating and shit, man. Like I said, you never go to little different things in life, man. Well, I want to have shit like this in my, you know, my memories, bro. So when I get my new, my Lamborghini, shit like that, you know, I look back like, damn, man. I had this Beamer, you know, it got towed. Look at it, man. I can't even drive. It's overheating and shit. You know what I mean, bro? It's like, it's a lot of shit, but hey, we're gonna look back these days like, hey, man, damn, you know what I mean? Like, nigga was driving this BMW, I was getting problems, getting it towed and shit. We're gonna be like, yeah, nigga, I told y'all I'd do that shit. You hear me? I told y'all I had these nicer cars, these Lamborghinis, Forest, Roarings, you know, everything, man. Watch, give us some time, I promise you. My first, my first ever car, man, I got it at 17. You know, paid it off in cash and everything, you know, so it's my car, but it ain't, it ain't trying to work with Ty Baby right now, man, so we're going to look back at these days for real, for real, man, we're going to look back. All right, look, y'all, we're going to get shady, so I'm going to make this quick as hell for y'all, so y'all can understand, guys, like I said, I don't post this for me people to feel bad, like, oh, it's happening to Ty, I'm like... No, guys, no one likes a weak man at all. I'm just posting this shit so for my personal to motivate others, too. Like, bro, nigga, I went through this. I went through this. So when I get out the Lamborghini, you got the mansions. I want to be like, damn, nigga, like, remember this shit happened? So it's nothing like that at all. But um, let's get on the rest of the situation. So I'm going to explain to you. Like, a lot of people, like, in my city, like, know about it. It's, it's, not, it's not that crazy, but I'm going to explain to you guys, okay? Okay, so basically, guys, you know what I mean? I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. For people that's not from Oklahoma, I don't know if you're from Oklahoma. Where it's the home of the first 48, bro. First 48, like a crime. So it's a lot of crime in Tulsa. So basically, when I was like 16, 17, you see, I get, after I got kicked out, I was hanging with the wrong group of people. You know what I mean? So I guess I, you know, I was around people who would have had stuff and was doing different things. I ain't going to try to see all the stuff. But basically, I wasn't like the most, you know, best kid after my dad kicked me. I got to think about it. My dad kicked me. I almost lost myself. But I was like, damn. But I didn't notice it, though. But I was like, you know, around certain people. I didn't really notice that I was losing myself doing things that I wouldn't actually do. So, um, <clears throat> basically, I got in my j juvenile or whatever. It was, you know, but you underage or whatever. So, but I guess I got adjudicated with me. I can't be around uh, guns or whatever. So, um, but I didn't know that, though. So, Basically, guys, the time I when I got arrested, I was uh, what was that? I was 18, and I was filming with my friend, my my person that films with me, and my other homie. It's at this event, and then um, long story short, bro, I guess they complain about us filming whatever, you know. So basically, you see like big YouTubers, you see like, for instance, like you know, Gideon, whatever, you know, like people like the cops, but like, he got to leave the store, got to leave whatever. So it basically was like that. But these cops are kind of more racist. Like, which one of you has a gun? And so, like, they just assumed it. I'm like, damn, you know, I did have one. But I was like, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't the type of person that was like on my Snapchat, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, I'm not that guy. Like, people wouldn't even never, they like, that's a TikTok guy. You never, you would never even think I had a gun, guys. I'm, I don't like to be like, oh, I'm the hardest dude in the world. I got a gun. That's not me at all, bro. I'd rather have peace and just have fun, bro. Live life. I don't want to be known for that type of, like, that type of image. So, you would have never known I had one. But basically, it's like cops all in the area, you know, just to protect the area and stuff like that. So we're leaving. We're like, okay, it's the uh, the people told us to leave, so we leaving shit. And then it's a cop like, hey, shit, you gotta stop, sit down. So we could have like, if we thought we, if I thought I did something bad, I would have ran or something. But I just sat down. We all sat down. And like I said, I had my little duffel back. And um, the cop was like, they all said, they said, which one y'all got a gun? I was like, what do you mean? Like, why y'all doing like this? So I guess they had a pad doesn't have my bag on me. Boom, patted it. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? So we'll. we'll Fast forward straight, bro. Um, I had got arrested already, but no one knew about it though. And that was last year, that was 2022 of March. So basically my charges was just having a gun. That was the worst thing. And then like, you know, arguing with the cop and trespassing, which is like most people that do YouTube that would do pranks like that to get trespassing things. So, you know, you can't really trespass. So that's all it was. Not gonna lie, if, when I first got locked up too, like when it went around because it went around Facebook, I, I felt bad. I was like, damn, bro, like people were like, damn I'm a bad guy, like, you know what I mean? But that's like when I got out, I was like, damn, people be doing, like, way worse. People have, like, rape charges. You know, like, really bad things, like, robbing people and shit. Like, I ain't even nothing like that. But, um, basically, guys, I got arrested. No one knew about it. I got bought out the same day. But then I missed court. I didn't know how serious court was, so I had missed court two times. So then when I when I tried to go get my court date, like, uh, ahead of myself, like, get it, like, rearranged, the, when I, uh, it was two cops inside the courtroom. They just arrested me there. I was like, damn. So when they arrested me that time, my bond like tripled. It was $140,000, bro. And it went so crazy over Facebook, bro. I was like, damn. It's, it kind of hurt me a little bit. I was like, damn. People would rather post me getting 
locked up than like, I've been on World Star. I've been on no jumper overtime. Like no one posted like top baby on World Star. You know what I mean? Nobody did that. But I got locked up. That shit went viral. It was like, oh, this is a TikTok. You're like, I was like, damn, y'all niggas negative as hell, bro. So basically, for everybody to know, that's when I got that's why I got arrested, guys. Basically, I just had a gun. Like I said, you know, we in Tulsa, Oklahoma, bro. You gotta think about it. I'm one of the few people that's very, very known here, bro. Millions of followers. Like I said, I do good. I do good content. I'm not like a game maker. I don't like. I don't diss anybody or nothing. So I'm not like thinking I got smoke. But at the same time, he said, you never know who you run into. People just be hating, like having a bad day. Like I'm mean, like this and that's ain't that that one nigga that TikTok. You know what I mean? Like you never know. So it's just like in my brain, I was just trying to be like protected, bro. It wasn't nothing like oh, I want to be hard. You know what I mean? It was nothing like that, bro. It was just like. You know, I just want to make sure me, my, my camera member protected, man, if anything does have, you know, any worst sex, uh, case scenario. So, basically, that's all me getting locked up, man. I, I feel better. I was like, you know, Andrew Tate, like, Top Z, like, he got locked up. You know what I mean? Like, you see all these people getting locked up, so I don't feel, like, too, too bad about it. But that was a locked up situation, guys. So, I'm going to explain to you guys um, the band situation, bro. Now, listen, <laughs> I ain't really chill myself, but basically with the me getting banned on TikTok, I kind of owe my eyes a little bit like, okay, Doc, you need to put your eggs in different baskets. That's why I'm, I'm going my Instagram now, I'm going my Facebook and uh, YouTube. I need to get that 100K plaque, bro. So it kind of owe my eyes a little bit. I'm getting my account back, though, so I'm not like tripping about it too, too much. But, um, let me show you something. One thing is just kind of crazy. Like, you be having niggas like praying your downfall because I'm doing so good, I guess, at a young age. Like, niggas be, like, it's like, this nigga text me, right? Look what he said. He said, you going to. You gonna feel what it be like to get banned top billion. He gonna show me the band thing and say, uh, bye bye top billion. Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas sending me be banned. I'm like, bro, like, y'all don't even know I'm gonna get my shit. But like, you know what I mean? It's not that deep, bro. A lot of people get banned. It happens to the best people. Like, they get banned, they come back. But it kind of opened my eyes. Like, okay, then get on YouTube, bro. I wanna get on YouTube, bro. That's why I'm doing videos like this now, you know what I mean? So I don't have to go crazy on YouTube, bro. I'm gonna really lock in. I already got 2 million followers on uh, TikTok, which is very great. And my age and stuff like that. So it's time to lock in on YouTube, guys. So um, that's it with that, man. I got banned. I don't know what I did, though. I woke up. I'm like, damn, what the fuck I do? You know what I mean? At least I like, had like a warning or something. Like, you know what I mean? So I guess I got banned or whatever. But like I said, it's like robots on the app now. So they can just take your account down. So I had to get somebody to appeal it and stuff like that. We we're working through the uh, corporate right now. So we'll, we'll have back within like a month. But um, yeah, man, people be praying for your downfall, bro. So it's just crazy, man. Like I said, I do these videos right here now for my YouTube journey. I want y'all to feel everything I go through, bro. And then you're going to see what the fuck, bro. So basically in my car, too. I'm going to post the video. You're going to see the video in my car, too. So basically, bro, like all these things happening, bro. And people would give up, bro. Like, oh, shit, this happened. Oh, I, got, I lost my account, bro. Think about Oh, I lost my account, bro. Everything I worked hard for, I'm going to just give up. It's like people got banned and I'm going to take this shit back. Oh, bro, uh, I got arrested and all my city hating on me. Like, damn, bro, I'm locked up, bro. My bond, 100K, you know, 15. You know what I mean? Like, all these things, bro, that I could just, people will give up on, bro. So, basically, like I said, I don't want nobody to feel bad for me. A weak man ain't no man. Nobody wants to talk to, like, a weak nigga. Like, everybody got problems, nigga. You probably, you watching this, probably going through the shit right now. Ain't nothing like that. It's, I'm talking, I'm confident in myself. I know no matter how many failures, whatever I got to go through, we're going to be fucking millionaires, bro. We're going to have this shit. You feel me, bro? We're going to have everything, the fast cars. I'm going to give back. I, I can't wait, bro. So we're going to grind our ass off. But I want to build my channel in an authentic way so y'all like actually see my whole process, bro. Like, he's like, damn, I remember this nigga Ty was like, you know, he got kicked out. And then got banned. You know what I mean? All these things. And I just kept fucking going, bro. I would be saying it'd be stopped, bro. I just turned 20, uh, what was it, two months ago, June, bro. Like, my birthday. Well, come on, bro. 2003, bro. These are my prime years, bro. So I kind of already had a head start. So like, I would be a fool to like give up now, bro. I need to work my ass off my 20s, bro, so I could be chilling. But um, like I said, guys, I'm going to try to post once a week, guys. Take assistance as I can. All types of videos. This is going to be a prank or, uh, or doing this. All types of shit, bro. We're going to try to post once a week, once a week, guys. So um, like I said, thanks for watching, bro. Uh, like I said, this is going to be for motivation. Look back on these videos, bro. And it's like, damn, nigga. Like, this nigga really, you know, <laughs> we did this shit. You feel me, though? So... I love y'all, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and stay tuned. And I'll see y'all, man. Yeah, Scott.